Why not just run Nix OS? Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, that's fine. I, I like to tinker a bunch. Imagine that, right? <laughs> Me tinker. And Nix OS is not really that conducive of a lot of tinkering. It's more of a pain. And I'm going to fill up a two terabyte hard drive just in snapshots and replications from all the changes I make. Because every time a change is made, ah, that's a new snapshot. That's a new snapshot. I mean, and just on the two to three weeks, I think it was actually on Nix OS for about three weeks uh, as a daily driver, I had 273 snapshots. 273 in three weeks. That's how much I tinker. Nix OS is not a good environment for me to be on for my main system. Fun to learn. Definitely be great for a sysadmin deploying to a thousand systems that don't change. Great. But if you really like to tinker, you don't use NixOS. I mean, that's uh, use the right tool for the right job. NixOS has its place, and the whole point of it was to learn it. I learned a good bit. I could have learned Flakes and Home Manager a bit more, yeah. But it's still not uh, it's still not conducive for me. It it doesn't fit me for my daily workflow. Uh, the snapshots aren't that big. Uh, it's it, the thing that Nix OS would probably kill me on is not so much the number of snapshots. It's the cache. Oh my God. The cache really bloats up. See, there's a lot of housekeeping that has to be done. So th that's the big thing. Yeah. And that's it. I would say Nix OS is for system admins. hundred percent. Right there is where it stops. If you're a newcomer to Linux, you don't even know shit. You don't know where config files are. You don't know where programs located. When I say any of the stuff in the stream, you're probably just like, that's wizardry. Nix OS is the last thing you should be using. Like you, you need to understand just basic, Hey, okay. A system wide configuration file is going to be in probably ETC, um, a user or a home configuration, something the user would configure would be in their home folder dot config. If you don't know that basic knowledge, you should stay a super, super duper far away from Nix OS. I probably should have specified that in a video, but if I put warnings and cautions and different stuff on all my YouTube videos, they'd be 30 minutes long and no one would watch them. And that's just kind of how it goes. And that's why, you know, as you learn more about it, you're like, okay, that makes sense. And that's Remember, these are just tools, and you just use the right one for what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, there is a garbage collector in Nix, and that should help out a lot for a lot of the cache and, and snapshots. That's a good good point. I did not set that. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have said Nix is not for a beginner or an, even an average Linux user. That's probably a proper proper way of saying it. For sure. But I mean, I really want people to learn and I kind of opened that video up and, and saying, Hey, these jobs are available for Nix OS engineers. It's kind of subtle, but you know, if you're getting paid six figures to maintain a Nix OS environment, you should probably know it's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's not going to be for a beginning user. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't get paid something that's super intuitive. Uh, you know, why do you think I've gotten paid so much for managing Windows servers? Because they're not intuitive. If you've ever troubleshoot like uh, Active Direction replication errors, you know, using <laughs> using all the crap that Windows puts at you, that stuff ain't that stuff is not intuitive at all, and it just takes a lot of experience and going, yeah, this is stupid, but when you do this, this happens. That's why you get paid. Uh, a good amount of money. And the same goes for Nix, you know. It's not an easy one. That's why, you know, those obscure jobs are worth as much as they are. Yeah, yeah. And Nix OS is a daily driver. It's a wonderful experience once you can understand it. And that's, I think, I think you could say that about almost every operating system. It's a wonderful experience once you understand it. Uh, you could say that almost about every Linux distribution. Because once you understand something so well, it makes it so much easier for you to just kind of do your job or, or get your work done. And I think that's a big thing. 